Hi there YouTube and welcome to this video where I will be showing you some utility commands for your Fractrate trading bot. With these commands you can use your bot more effective and efficient. After you have watched this video I hope you can control your bot even better from the command line. I put a lot of effort in making these videos so please click the like button and give me a comment. Also please remember that this video is intended for entertainment and education purposes only. I'm not pretending to be a professional at all and information you see in this video is my personal experience and knowledge from the books and website I read. So let's move ahead with some information for this video. All configurations are on my GitHub page so you can follow along with this video. If you want more specific information about plotting, strategy building, hyperopt or the use of Fractrade as your trading bot, then please use the Fractrade site. In this video I'm going to show you commands that can create user directories, configurations and new strategies. I'm also going to show you commands that can list your current strategies that are already available in your strategies directory. I can show you the command that lists all the current supported exchanges for the bot. I can also show you the command that lists all the supported timeframes from your favorite exchange. And also all the current pairs that your exchange provides. There is also a command that helps you test the pair list you configured in your config.json file. And there are also a bunch of show commands that you can use to see previous backtests and hyperopt results. As said earlier, all command lines are on my GitHub page and I will simply copy and paste them into the terminal window. Each command will get a short explanation while executing this. This way the video stays short and will save you your precious time. The first command I'm going to show you is the create user directory command. You can see over here that my terminal window is already in the Fractrade directory and I have already started my Python virtual environment. Now if I do a list command, you can see that there is no user directory available at this moment. If I copy and paste the create user directory command in my terminal window, you can now see that one is getting created. You can see it over here, this line. And if I do another list, you can see that the user data directory is available. And if I enter this, and list it again, you can see that all the subdirectories that are necessary to run the bot have been created. The next option I'm going to show you is the no config command. For this I have to move one directory up and then I'm going to again copy and paste the command. Fractrate will start asking me some questions. So do you want to have dry run enabled? I say yes. And I let all this be the defaults. Okay, now the config has been created. Now let's move ahead with the next command. This time I will be creating a new strategy. And the new strategy command has a few options available. If you want to know all these options, I recommend you to read the Fractrate site. But in this case, I'm only going to create a new config. And I'm going to use the minimal option which says that I want to create a new strategy file with the name my new strat or my new strategy. And I want to use the template minimal. So the template has a minimum viable options. And there it is, my new strategy file. Let's uh, open this and see how it looks. Whoops, have a new keyboard. And there you see, it's a complete file with a lot of comments so that you can create your own new strategy based on a template. Let's close this, clear the screen and go ahead with the next command. And this command will show you all the strategies that are available for using in my bot. Let's just copy and paste this from my GitHub repository again. And here you can see that I have to specify my user directory, then my configuration file and my strategy path. So just enter. And there you see all my available strategies. Now for my next command, I'm going to show you which exchanges are supported by the Fractrade bot. For this, I have to clear my screen. And again, I'm going to copy and paste the command I want to execute. 
and the one column option gives me just one column of all the exchange names. If I don't do this, I get additional information about the exchanges. But this is enough for me. And there you have it, all the exchanges that are supported by Fractrade. If you want to have the additional information as well, just leave the one column parameter. And there you see what's wrong with some of the exchanges. Okay, clear and go ahead with the next command. And that is to list the supported timeframes of your exchange you want to use for your bot. So copy and paste this again. Here you can see that I have chosen the exchange Binance and I'm using my config file. And there you have it. All the supported timeframes from the Binance exchange. Now I also want to know which pairs are available on the Binance exchange. For this, use the list pairs command. And you can see over here all the supported pairs on the Binance exchange. But maybe that's a little bit too much information. If you only have the question which pairs are supported with only the quote pair USD Tether, then use the following command. And here you have to specify the quote USD Tether. And also I have chosen to print everything in a JSON format so that I can copy and paste the output directly in my config.json file. And here you see all the pairs that are available on the Binance exchange, but in JSON format and also only with a quote pair USD Tether. In the meantime, I have changed my config file and have added some pairs to trade. The test pair list command is helping me to check if I have done this correctly. So let's enter this in the terminal window. And now FragTrade will test my config file. And yeah, everything uh, looks to be correct. In the final portion of this video, I'm going to show you some show commands you can use for Fractrate. The first command I'm going to show you is the backtesting show command, which prints out the results of the last backtest. Copy and paste, and again. And there you see the result of my last backtest. The next command is the hyperop list command, which shows me the recent hyperop results. Copy and paste this. And there you see the results of the last hyperop. And you can see all the calculations that were made during the last hyperop and the configuration advice it gave me. You can also add the best switch to the hyperop list command. And if I do this, then I only see the best hyperopt results. And these were the best hyperopt results. I can also ask the hyperop list command to show me only the most profitable results. And that I can do with the profitable switch. And you see over here that these were the most profitable results of uh, hyper optimization. And if I add the no detail switch to this command, it only shows me the results and not the configuration output. No details. And here you see only the best epochs with no additional details or configuration parameters. In this final demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can print your trades that were registered in your trading database to your terminal window. And in this case, it's the show trades command. And here you see the SQLite uh, database uh, location. Just enter and see the output to the screen. And you see all the trades that were in your database. If you want to see the details of a specific trade, you can use the same command, but you have to add the trade ID and you can also print it to a JSON format.
So in this case, I am printing the trade number two and three to the screen. And here you can see all the detailed information from the bot that were registered in your database. And there you have it, a bunch of nice to know commands for your trading bot. Please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get updated on new videos. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.